Okay, uh, just really testing this out again and see if I can figure out the the best way for me to do these these vids for the moment with what I have, which is just an old phone, and uh, that's about it. Unless you know, uh, there's there's an actual demand for it. Anyone wants to see this kind of stuff, then I'll I'll start investing in in better equipment, but. You know, until then, I'll do what I what I can with what I have. Uh, so here, it's just some random stuff. This is this week's work. This is some uh, some eBay pieces. Like here's my uh, Betsy Braddock, kept in Britain. This is just inks and and markers, Copic markers, which have gotten really expensive. At least the refills have. So now you pay as much as you were paying before for for half of what you were getting. That sucks. Uh, here's a Wonder Woman. Just inks on uh, mixed media paper. I like this tan paper. It's kind of cool. It's another Catwoman. I think the video was about this one the other day. And Raven. Captain Carter with this one I uh, I'm probably gonna do this one again but full figure maybe a larger piece maybe color or maybe another CPO I like the CPO here's there are some commissions and I have a bunch more to do it's just a just a pinup commission <clears throat> this is one from last night I think it's from I think the comics called Noir Burlesque I think the character is Caprice it's just uh, acrylic paints on uh, the mixed media paper. I like it. It doesn't really buckle. It's a nice heavy weight to it. It's like a Strathmore mixed media paper. I mean, it takes it fairly well. It's not gonna. You can't saturate it like you would a watercolor paper, but it works. Um, uh, what else? Ooh, let's see. Got some random stuff here. When I'm starting to sketch, probably another Catwoman. And then I have to get back to work on commission stuff because I've got a few I have to finish and try to finish them all this weekend. Just a lot of work. And here's just one of my sketchbooks, which I don't... Let me preface this by saying that there's no cohesion in any order to what I do. It's just random stuff. Like, I'll get a sketchbook and I feel like sketching something. And I'll just sketch it. like, Or I'll get a random piece of paper. There's, like, paper floating all over this this place. And like some some studies and like two minute sketches and five minute sketches and if I get stuck on a body part I'll go back and I'll specifically look for it like armpits or how they connect to the torso and I'll start drawing that stuff separately. It doesn't matter because I'll forget how to do it and I have to do it all over again. It's, um, some kind of blowfish. I don't know. It's an octopus. Kind of like them. Monster fish. This is something I was putting on a t-shirt. Actually, most of these I think I was going to do on a t-shirt. That blowfish again. Mm -hmm. Another octopus. They're cool. They're cool. I like them. And then the randomness of my sketchbook, which is it's so light. It's just, it's just all over the place because there's. If I pick up the paper, the, the book upside down, I'll just draw it upside down, right side up, any what, whichever way it just happens to land. There's some more figures. I was, I was wondering, can I still draw the male figure? Because I don't, I rarely get asked to to draw the male figure, but so I just started rendering some figures out. It looks okay. Uh, it was just some layouts for some commission work. Just little mannequin poses. And these are like some of these are like charade studies. There's a few more like these. Clearly, this charade studies, right? Some more stuff. See what I mean? These are all upside down. That's more charade stuff. I don't even remember drawing this. A lot better than what I can do when trying to draw like me. More random stuff. 
dudes drawing packs. I don't even remember what I was doing that for. It must have been from some commission. Or I was just randomly drawing them. More stuff. Whenever I draw just for myself, everything I draw is cartoony. And then when I draw for someone, it changes. But whenever I draw a girl in, in my sketchbook, it's always cartoony. And I always had to fight against that. I fight against a lot of the stuff that I do. Like I'm my, my own worst enemy. If I ever draw a blank on what to do is because I've already stumped myself. Because I, I put all these roadblocks as to what I'm supposed to do. No, I can't do that. It has to be this way. No, it has to be that way. Um, more practice work because clearly I need it with when I'm drawing the figures. I kind of like his face. And I think this was from another commission. You know, just getting some practice in. The same thing with this one. It's just more layout stuff. I'll get stuck on something and and it helps when you just when you start laying it out. You can see part of a bear and I was just drawing the lips and stuff because I was doing another Danny Moonstar commission. I like doing those. And I like bears, so I enjoy drawing those. It's another Danny Moonstar. It's another running guy here from a commission I was working on. He wanted him running really fast like the Flash. It's part of the same thing. And some of these are from when I was just sitting at a Girl Scout meeting for my kids. And just some random boots because the commission I was working on, the, uh, the customer was really specific on the type of boots he wanted. And ink smears. Blank pages. A torso. Uh, and then that was a commission. I, and this is actually the. It ended up almost looking exactly like this when I, when I did the commission. Except the arms aren't his head and he was screaming. But it turned out okay. And this is from another commission that I'm working on <laughs> Jinx and Vi, which I'm finishing up this weekend. I had to come downstairs and watch in the studio because I tried to watch it upstairs and my daughter was like, no, you can't watch your cane, I haven't watched it yet. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just go back in my hovel then and watch it. And in other words, a buy and some random jokers and Deadpools because another customer wanted uh, a Deadpool for uh, like a Phoebe Cates. Last time's a Richmond High Commission. And it's more jinx. Some more jinx. And here's. So here's a commission. Here's the front cover. Here's Vi. That's what I'm coloring this weekend. And then the back cover is done. And there's the uh, the jinx piece. It's all acrylic paints, no markers. These covers tend to be really, really slick. Um, some better than others. The worst ones I've had won't even hold an ink line. You'll ink it and then touch it 10 minutes later and the thing just wipes off. So what I found best works for me is just to paint them. Acrylic paints very thin layers not too wet because you know it does buckle I mean it, it warps there's no real buckling per se but but there's clearly a a warp but it does not really it's, it doesn't damage the book at creases or anything but that's how I found uh, works best for me for these covers and then I don't have to deal with is it going to take the marker is it going to take the inks because I've had those where I've just almost uh, done with the inks and I'm getting ready to, to, to color it and finish it up and then I'll pick up a marker and it just just starts to beat up all over the paper and what I thought was going to take a day to finish ends up taking several weeks as I had to try to figure out what I am uh, doing or how I'm going to fix it. This was for a, a Velma Dinky commission. Uh, 
and like there's random stuff here because taste of the wild for I'm writing down the percentages of of calcium in my my puppy's uh, dog food because he can't have too much calcium because it grows too fast. And some more like figures and mannequins and stuff. And it's just really random. And I have other sketchbooks and they're all partially uh, filled that way. And then what is this? This is something I was just doing last night. I was watching TV. And uh, that's the last thing. Someone someone wants a Hellboy, so I started sketching out Hellboy today. And then I was watching Jackie Brown and started sketching out Sid Haig. Um, and I think that's that's good for now. I mean, as far as, as testing and seeing what the audio quality is on my phone. This works. Um, should I give you a tour of my studio? Well, there's not much here. Some supplies here and some other stuff there. And it's usually a mess once I'm working. So, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, let me know. And I'll see what I can post.